Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back here, Totem Pole Nation. We are live showtime here from South St. Petersburg, Florida. We got Coach Taylor checking in from Chesterfield. Route 10, Coach. Yeah, What's going 10, on? Coach. Right, Route man. Coach, I'm made of plastic, but I'm not made of steroids. All right. Uh, yeah, I am who I am. I yam that I yam, and that's all that I yam. That's Popeye. All right. Starring Robin Williams, a very underrated movie. When he beat up the octopus at the end. Yeah. Man. And the bully Pluto. He took care of the bully Pluto as well, man. Yeah, that's what a right, great man. movie that was. That was just, uh, you know, and, and the way how slow he was. And, man, those forearms. You always wanted forearms like Popeye growing up. If you didn't, what were you watching? You know so, I mean? we had Alex Marable, offensive line coach from the University of Miami. Don Brown. Don Brown, the head coach of UMass. And we had the drawing yesterday. And, Coach, would you like to announce who won the drawing? Oh, man, we announced it. It, it was great. It was a big deal. Our, our full throttle winner was, was Miss Sarah Blake Cheek. So, so, so big kudos to her. Our other winner got 50% off. She's uh, she's phenomenal as well. So we're just happy to, you know, help them transition and get ready for uh, the summertime, man. You know, it, it's it's nothing worse than, you know, working out to get to the summer body time and have your shirt on the whole time. You know what I mean? Like, you know, it's uh, I've got a, I've got a close friend of mine that the guy lost over 100 pounds. You know, but because, you know, he's still got some some hanging flesh, I guess he's he just does not want to take his shirt off. And it's just like it's got to be brutal to live like that. You know, it's got to be brutal to think like that. And, you know, some people are so mean sometimes that, uh, you know, people are just afraid to, to be themselves and show their real skin and stuff like that. But, uh, yeah, man, I'm so glad. I'm so proud. It's going to be so awesome. So, yeah, we'll have her up in the clinic. Definitely going to uh, have to hit her up and. Have her bring some of her uh, her Blake moonshine, man, because we will definitely – she'll get some free commercials from us after that stuff, man. And, and I definitely – I love supporting – Moonshine uh, infusion. Yeah. Oh, hey, man, that might be a new gimmick right there. That might be a new gimmick right there. I like that. But uh, I do. I love supporting, you know, my friends and, and family and people that have their own businesses going. You know, I, I go to restaurants all the time and, you know, get – you know, spend my money there you know why not spend it on you know people that i like people i care about and people that are trying to make their best you know so many people want to get the kickback you know like that's the thing if uh if everybody cyborg knew you know if, if, if he gave a free hat to everybody he knew i mean holy cow the guy would be fighting for free for years you know what i mean yeah support your people support your people but yeah man super super excited about that so I'm trying to find the Bob Wiley podcast, the longest podcast. Yeah, yeah, that was, man. You guys, uh, record setting, record setting offensive line, one man gang, Coach I Bob thought, Wiley. I thought we might be ready to actually see the footage of Coach – of Coach McNally cussing uh, me out. This is pretty funny. I liked it. So let's check this out. Yeah, no, and that's the thing. Another ad. Hey, every time we watch one of these, we make about a get a penny for a thousand ad views. So that's wow. A, wow. Wow. Here it is. Your car. Can you pull it up on our screen or no? 
We just get a visual. Hold on. Did I? I didn't get it. Yeah, I'm not exactly a genius. Very good, man. You never ever think about driving the car. You think about where you're going, but you don't think about driving. That's unconscious confidence. You get out of the car and you shut the door. You shut the door. Okay? You walk into a room, you turn the light switch on. You don't think about it. You just do it. <laughs> Look who's calling me, coach. Yeah. Go. Hey, coach. Yeah. It's okay. Yeah, I'm not, coach, we we've only we're only 50 minutes into this thing, and we're just on unconscious um, competence. Unconscious competence. He's doing stuff just on reaction, man. It's great how he explains all that. There's no way that I would allow him to do that. He can't do that. Why would he do that? I'm not sure, Coach. I just think that he wanted to do something nice for you. I appreciate you. I think your laughter. Your laughter is gas on the fire. Yeah. Coach Wiley. Well, Coach Wiley. Coach Wiley. Coach Ball. Who's the friend? I'm a friend of yours. He got, he got Dick, Dick LeBeau, LeBeau to, make to make a very, very nice, nice message, message about, about Coach McDowell. Now, now, what, what do you, do you think, think about him? Look, he's 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 they're not laughing. <laughs> <laughs> Look at how serious Bob Wiley is. <laughs> he's smiling a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but I think I think Nick LeBeau got paid for it, Coach. He got paid, he got paid fifty dollars to do the message. There's some controversy in this. Oh my my! Huh, Coach Wiley? Coach Wiley, what do you think? I, 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 you, you know, do that about somebody else. Now, if you're a testimony. And it's it maybe a little something different, okay? But yeah, yeah in, in this situation, that's not the problem. It's not the problem we're looking at, okay? And, and Jimmy, Jimmy has earned a lot of respect. And respect and coach. Nothing but respect. And, you know, and you laugh about it, Troy. I am not fucking laughing. He was nice, he was cordial, he said nice things. I love Dick LeBeau, but for someone else, to do that without asking my permission is fucking wrong. Yeah, coach. 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 Well, I don't give a fuck. It's a fucking testimony like you give fucking uh, uh, George Washington or uh, fucking General McCarthy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, coach. <laughs> You're just gas on the fire. No, no, coach, he didn't do it on his own. I think he just did this for the fun, fun coach. coach. But coach, 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 I, I apologize. I'm sorry, sorry you're upset. upset. I'm, I'm, I'm going to get him to take that, that down, down, coach. So. Well, why, 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 who asked him to do it? You're talking about Dick Bowe or Coach Green, coach? Coach Green, I got to go through the main event, coach. I told you that. Yeah. 
No, no, coach, coach, yeah. if, if, if you're, you're upset, upset about the dick of Bo, I'll get him to take it down, down coach. coach. <laughs> coach Wiley agrees, coach, but I don't think Coach Wiley has listened to it yet. What he said. Jimmy, you to it yet. What he said. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. I can't talk about something that you can't even hear anymore. Okay. No, no, what's that? Some, some of the issues, some of the issues we had. Okay. Coach, he loves you, Coach. He, he, he said that, that you influenced his coaching style. I mean, that's what Dick LeBeau said, Coach. It's the coach, ultimate respect. Coach, you're the GOAT, Coach. Just accept it. I don't think he wants yeah, to accept no, that role, man. Snoozing, coach, because everybody says the same thing about you, Coach, that you're the GOAT. Coach Wiley, tell him he's the GOAT, Coach. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but it, was, it, was, it wasn't, wasn't you, you coach. coach. They, they love you. They think you're the best. best. But, coach, but coach, it's okay, okay coach. coach. We love you. you. Coach, coach Wilder, what would you like to say to Coach, 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 coach uh, McNabb? Oh, uh, well, I, 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 I think it's okay. 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 So, <laughs> what are you talking about, my friend? And we've got to get together for 1975. He's the best. Yeah, so, you know, I just want to say that I just got the utmost respect, you know, for Coach McNally and for Coach Wiley. Like, those are my top two favorites. And I just want that to be known. Like, those guys have reached out to me. I can reach out to them. They might not answer me right away. They might pick up on the first ring. You know, uh, but those guys are amazing. I have nothing but respect for those guys. I want to be like those guys when I grow up. Those guys have molded uh, a lot of a, a lot of grown, huge individuals into being amazing fathers, mentors, coaches, teachers, NFL players, uh, Navy SEALs, you name it. The impact that those two guys have had, uh, it's uh, it's unbelievable. It would blow your mind. You know, those guys met back in 75 at a clinic. And that's where, uh, you know, Coach Wiley said, hey, Coach McNally, I want to learn from you. And uh, they linked up and they've been really tight ever since. And, you know, it's been something that's like the times, man. Things change and these guys adapt. And, uh, yeah, man, I'm so glad we got to have those guys on. Hey, I'm sorry that I was a little bit of the uh, in the mix and everything, but it was nothing but respect and, and love. And, you know, Coach McNally, man, he's a he's a fellow Irishman, and uh, I just respect him. And, uh, yeah, I, I, I never want to disrespect him. So I uh, just want to put that out there. I actually texted him yesterday morning after our podcast, and, uh, you know, I found his number on Twitter. I texted him. He called me back one minute later. And we wow. spoke a good, a good 10 or 15 minutes. And uh, it wasn't just football. It was life and influence and stuff like that. So, uh, you know, I appreciate him. 
he heard where I was coming from and he realizes that, uh, you know, even as we get older, sometimes we make mistakes, but, you know, it's always about trying to better yourself. And, you know, it's okay to do something nice for people that you care about, you know, and so. Yeah. Well, Jim, Tim, we wanted to know, because we saw your Twitter status, we wanted to know, can we help promote the competition that you're in? So you just give us the go ahead. Yeah. And we're going to help we, promote that. We want the contest the that you're on. Right. It's you're a in to win because we're fitness. in it to win it. And right. that's something yeah. Coach Bald has sent up to me from St. Pete Rejuvenate. Makes me feel like I'm 18 again. Ooh. Oh, Ooh. yeah, man. I'm I love ready. hearing that. I am yeah. ready, baby. That's you're looking, right. Absolutely. I thought it might have been absolutely. the coffee or something. Absolutely. Yeah, might be the coffee. But one of the greatest quotes of Jim McNally right there. Let me ask you this, coach. Are you still what do you what do you put in your coffee? Let's hear it. Uh I put coffee with my protein. My so protein no, powder. No creamers, none of that. My Straight man. metrics. Oh, muscle milk. I like metrics back in the day, but now I'm a muscle milk guy. I'm a muscle milk in my coffee. Want some? Get some. I'm going to look like it, We need to do a Under turtle. Armour mannequin. Here we go. All turtle right, Jim Tim. Jim Tim has entered a contest, and we need everybody in Totem Pole Nation, all 100,000 subs. I need an interpreter for South Korea and Cambodia and Vietnam and Indonesia. Where Looking most good there. Of our, um, you know, subscribers are from muscleandfitness.com forward slash 2023 James. Tim. Yeah, man. Let's get that out you there, You can man, for vote sure. for Jim Tim. He's currently third. All right, I'm going to put this in the comments. Right, Scroll so through everybody. till you see a stud-looking Marine wearing red. That is Jim Tim. He's been an advocate of the show. Yes, he has. He, he, he promotes everything that has to do anything with us. He is, uh, he, he is one of our favorites. He's a motivational speaker. And he's a hell of a football coach and an even better man. So go support him. Go support it. That's what the win the winner gets 20 K? 20 K. Oh man. You I can will do a be lot of this on my own Twitter, Jim Tim. Vote for go, Jim man. Tim. And if we could get Lolo Jones to retweet it, I think that you definitely, definitely could win this. All right, vote for Jim Tim. Vote for the goat. James Tim two to win twenty thousand dollars with is it Muscle Fitness magazine or Mr. Fitness? What's the name of the magazine? Muscle, muscle Health fitness, and Fitness. I believe. Muscle yeah. Muscle and Fitness. I believe so. Also. I believe uh, that it's it's one of those where you can vote once per day. So, vote today. I need to, I need to get vote I need Thursday. to get my buddy Stacy, Stacy Reed. You know Stacy, don't you? Um, narrow it down for Whitney, me. My I believe I do. Whitney Reed, my friend Whitney Reed. There. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Whitney Reed. Yes, I need I to get Whitney Reed. Um, to, Whitney Reed is in the fitness industry. All right, and if he if we could get Whitney Reed to co-sign on you, Jim Tim, you could have twenty thousand dollars. Jim Tim, what are you gonna do with the twenty k if you do win? Let me know. I think it's trying. I think it's time to head south, man. Head south for the Ooh. for the for the summertime. Now his friend, um, Whitney Reed's friend, is uh, who is the guy? Jay Cutler. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Jay well, the, Cutler. I'll tell you what, too. What Jim should reach out to, you know, he's a disciple of C.T. Fletcher. 
You know, if he could uh, maybe get in contact with uh, with CT or uh, or, or even CT Fletcher's on here. Yeah, or or even uh, I believe it's is it Julius? I believe CT Fletcher's son has been. Uh, he's he's in the biz. Randy Cross has always been big so hurt. good to me when retweeting stuff. I mean, dude, yes. we got guys who. Nobody even knows who they are and will not retweet other people. All right. But we got people like Randy Cross that should be in the Pro Football Hall of Fame who retweet a little bit, will be giving back to the community who's given so much to me. He's got to have to get in top 20 to move on to May 17th. All right. Totem Pole Nation. We need it. Jim. Will help his local community. Maybe, maybe the winner. Maybe have James send you a promo that we could, you know, add also yeah. to the channel and maybe to the Twitter, to the Facebook. You know, just the heart to heart, James. Just, just come from the heart. Give us a good minute of some some material. And yeah, man, we'll get you. We'll, we'll we'll get you some view. We'll try to get you more views, brother. But uh, that's awesome, man. You know, health is wealth, man. It's all about uh, it's all about living a good life and feeling good. You know, feeling good is a uh, is a big deal. Start talking about feeling good. How's the beard feeling this morning? I'm talking about James Harden. Just just laser shot to beat the Celtics last night. Philly goes Somebody up won. one. Philly goes up one nothing without. Embiid. Nice. Yeah, man. Huge. Nice. Huge. And tonight we've got some major action. We got the Miami Heat at the New York Knicks. 7.30 start. Butler is questionable at the moment, but I got a feeling he's going to play no matter what. And then after that, man, you got the battle of the L.A. The L.A. Golden State versus – Versus the L.A. Lakers, LeBron versus Curry, must see TV. I cannot Ooh. wait for that. LeBron James, he, who is thirty-eight, Curry okay. is thirty-five. So this could be the last time these guys are locked into a seven-gamer. All right, Jim Tim, check your Twitter, Jim Tim. Hold on. Check your Twitter messages, and we are going to be getting a guest appearance. The one and only Jim Tim will be coming back on Totem Pole Nation. All right, now let's shout out our sponsors before Jim Tim comes on. Cultivate Wellness, a great local company in Richmond, Virginia, which will be branching out to the south side of St. Petersburg, Go see them for all your health needs. They've been a day one sponsor and totem pole before we had the 100,000 subs. Yeah. yeah. And over 50,000 of them are in Cambodia, South Korea, Vietnam, and they actually learn English from watching our show. And I, I feel sorry for anybody that's got to learn how to speak English from me because I can't even speak it. And I don't know geography. All right. Coach, how are you feeling today? I mean, look at that backdrop. Look at that. You know, every, day, right every day you wake up is a good day. You know what I mean? If you can be six feet above, you're doing well. It is great. I would say it's about perfect, man. I mean, there's no breeze. It's probably 75. Yeah. I mean, it is phenomenal. Uh, this whole week is between, you know, 72 and 82. So, uh, yeah, man, we're living the dream. But, yeah, man, I'm feeling phenomenal. Uh, like a, a big shout-out to St. Pete Rejuvenate. We just announced, you know, the winner for our weight loss, which was unbelievable. We ended up picking a winner and then half off for another winner. So that was huge. This upcoming month, if you log on to the site, what we're doing is a free IV hydration therapy so Ooh. any athletes 
that want to get that get that IV hydration down, boom, hit us up. Jim people that are, is here. People that are going for weddings, anniversaries, parties, big parties, get your IV hydration. Get it in. Get it Jim, locked Jim, Tim, is your camera turned off? There you go, Jim. There he is, ladies hey. and gentlemen. What's going Congratulations, on, Congratulations, brother. Congratulations, man. Tell us all about it. Yeah, well, basically, I've been uh, – I got the opportunity. Um, a friend of mine he knew I was into health and fitness. I've been doing it for over 20 years. So it's giving me a chance to give back to my roots and going back to – uh, health and wellness of myself and others because it's proven that anything is possible as long as you put the hard work in to make the little things right. That's the motivation I like to hear from you, Jim. You make me better. Now, Jim, Tim, it's been a few days since I've spoke to you. Who have you enjoyed that's been on the podcast that we've had speak recently? Um, I would definitely say the guy from Miami, the offensive line coach. Wow. Alex Mirabal. Yeah. He will be in Buffalo, New York this week. Wow. To meet up with Coach McNally. And Coach McNally's number is on Twitter, Jim Tim. So get that number so you can text him. He will text back. He'll probably call back. So... That'd be a good guy to get on your resume. Oh, I know. I mean, everybody knows Coach McNally. If you win that $20,000, will you be taking a trip down to St. Pete? I don't know what I'm doing, but all I know is I'm going to be doing it for the people who always been underestimated, always the ones that never get that opportunity. But I'm, uh, as I said, I don't, I don't accept normal limits. I push Amen. to be the very best. To be the best, you have to be willing to give up being great. You, If you want to be accept, exceptional, you have to be willing to give up being great. You have to do the small things right and make sure you dot your I's and you cross your T's. Amen. Amen. Coach Bald, I don't know about you, but I'm feeling very, very motivated today since we got jim tim on how are you feeling man i'm right there with you man jim tim is just like he's a modern day rocky balboa man he's a guy that steps in the ring he's going to give it all he's got you might knock him down but guess what he's getting up and he's going to take the stand and eight count and then he's going to come at you and he's going to keep hitting you you know what i mean and you're going to you're just going to he's the type of guy that just keeps taking shots and then finally he breaks his opponent like man i cannot hurt this guy I can't hurt this guy. He just keeps fighting back. And uh, you know what? If you never quit, you never lose. And that's the type of guy Jim Tim is. And I'm glad that uh, that he's blessed us. And we want to help him with his uh, muscle fitness and pump him up, man. This guy's a motivational guy. I'm motivated. I'm having a hard time sitting down right now, Coach. Man. Good. So, Jim Tim, what's the plans for today? Uh, I just got back within like a half hour ago. I finished my uh, – Shoulder workout, so. That's great. 90-pound dumbbell shoulder press. Now, I tweeted it out there. I'll, I will show you what I put, and we're going to continue to push this for you. It would, be greatly, it would be greatly appreciated to the, the fans and to the people of Totem Pole Nation. It would be greatly appreciated for your vote, um, as long as you share it and vote once a day. Uh, it ends. If I get in the top 20, I'll get the opportunity to go to the next round. I hope you vote for me because I will prove in the shadow of a doubt anything is possible. All I, I ask is for link. a shot. I did not put the link. I got I got to redo it. I, I did not put the link in there with the vote for Jim Tim. That means I got I to gotta go back. I'm not on Twitter blue. All right. I'm uh, Totem Pole has the Twitter blue. All right, so I got to go back. Man, Twitter. What do you think about Twitter charging people $10 a month for Twitter I, blue and they took away all the blue check marks? I, I thought it was I thought it was $8. 
Maybe it is eight dollars. I don't know. I'm just asking. I don't know. I'm I'm not sure either. But all these people who are millionaires, Jim Tim, are complaining that they have to pay for their blue check mark. Did they say why? Well, because they said it was free before, and they're not going to pay to you know. (laughs) Basically, the blue check mark was a status symbol. Yeah, that they were famous. Yes. Now you know they're upset because people like us. Well, not you particularly, because you're well known and well liked. Yeah, all right, we're the low man on the totem pole. Me and Coach Bald, all right, and we have to pay to get the blue check mark. Coach, I understand that, Coach Jim Tim. How do you feel about Dick LeBeau's message that he sent, Coach? McNally, were you able to listen to it? I listened to some of it, yes. I didn't listen to the whole thing, but I listened to maybe 65, 70%. Yes. Did did you understand why Coach McNally was irate with me and with Coach Bald? It's ca- it's credibility purposes. You you can't it's copyright infringement. If because if you're going to use people's name, you got to get permission. You got to get it's professionalism. And we are definitely unprofessional. No, I didn't. No, 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 no. I didn't say that. You said you had you had his number on Twitter, right? So basically, okay, you should have called him up or texted him and asked him, could we use your no- number to promote blah, blah, blah? We should have asked you first, Jim. No, prevented no, us no. I don't speak. I don't, I don't speak for Coach McNally. No. You would have given us better advice, though. But I he, don't. I don't speak for a living legend. Amen. A living legend. Jim Tim. Uh oh. Here's another living legend. Okay. Back from Minnesota. Wyatt Bode. Jim Tim, I need to give you Wyatt Bode's number. He's a 21 year old coach in Minnesota. He coaches freshman football, he's trying to turn around his own high school program. Now, okay. is that something? I mean, he wants to turn around the program, and he wants to make them a winner. Okay. And he does not want to run off to another program down the street or on the other okay. side of the county to win. What's the motivation you can give him, Jim Tim, as a master motivator to help rebuild that program? I would say to Brian, first and foremost – Start with the building blocks. The very first, the foundation. What is your what is your ideal thing of your program? What of your ideals to set in your program? A, B, C, D. Meaning your strengths, your weaknesses. What is your fundamental ideas about the program? Your philosophy. Start there and then build up. And then build up to your strength program. Push them. Don't accept. Don't accept anything. If you can do one more thing that day, fine. If you can't, do it the next day. Keep improving on the small things until those small things become exceptional. And then when they get exceptional, build upon the negatives that make them exceptional. Don't ex- Even if you become number one, don't accept it. Keep grinding. Don't accept that. You know what, Jim Tim? You remind me of Nick Saban. And Nick Saban once said, everybody's trying to get to the top of the mountain. But eventually, you become the mountain. You have become the mountain, Jim Tim. Bronson Contractors, LLC. Bronson, yeah. I think we're going to have to add Bronson Contractors, LLC, to our official sponsors of the Life Lessons Podcast. Good morning, fellas. Congratulations on 100,000 subs. The sky is the limit. Saginaw, Michigan. Have you ever been there, Jim Tim? Yes. Wow. I was over there when uh, – last time I was over there was about 10 years ago when um, – 10, 15 years ago when I went to Allendale, uh, Michigan for Grand Valley game. Nice. Grand Valley. Are you a friend of Brian Kelly or are you a fan of Brian Kelly? Um. I wasn't there when Brian Kelly was there, but I am familiar with him. I knew more Chuck Martin. 
He's a good coach. He's a good coach, but you have to be very professional around him. He takes detail very seriously. So what do you mean by that? Very professional. So we would not fit in because we are the unprofessional. No, no, no. Do you remember when we had this conversation a while ago? Because when when I asked the question concerning Chuck Martin, uh, Chuck Martin is one of the – when you guys – I think it was Amherst, that former coach – that's coaching the offensive line um, um, in Connecticut, I believe. He knew Denny Dowds and whatnot. He used to work for Chuck Martin. Yeah, you, you're talking about um, the guy from Anselm. Yes, that's, yeah, there we go. The um, coach from Anselm. He, he, he basically said, Chuck Martin is the type of person, if you don't get it right the first time, he will punch it right down your throat. So you have to make sure the details are spot on. Coach Bald, Coach Jim Tim is spewing the fire today. Coach Jim Tim is motivated. What do you have to ask? What do you have to say to Jim Tim? We have our co-host and the most professional man in totem pole. All right. What's up, America? And he's got wonderful hair. Look at that. You look like the undertaker. All right. What do you have to say to Jim Tim, uh, Coach Bald? I mean, you know, he's just – he's on fire this morning. I'm proud of him. I'm excited for him. And, you know, I'll just say like this, man. I'm going to quote James Harden from last night. Uh, we didn't come in here to lose the game. We came here to win. And Jim Tim signing on with us today, we have won the day. And yeah. we're just getting started. All right, so I'm going to present it again, Jim. Go vote. I got it on the Twitter. I will be re we uh, totem pole, Coach Bald. Will you make sure that you retweet this to the Absolutely. entire country and to Totem Pole Nation to vote for James Tim Two to win twenty thousand dollars with Muscle Fitness? Jim will help his local community if he is the winner. Featured Muscle Fitness. Click on the link and vote. For Jim Tim. How do you I can... vote? Free daily vote? Yes. Verification with Facebook. I can't get I can't I can't get into uh, Facebook right now and I don't have a credit card. All right, but I, I can pay. Receive a bonus vote every day. We authorize and I charge a card for a dollar to help us. Is there any way I can vote twice? Can I pay more to vote more? Yes. Nice. It's on there. It's either the, through the Wounded Warrior click or so if the. I, if I spend twenty dollars. How many times can I vote? I don't know. Whatever it says. Well, I will be. I will be. I go by the Belichick rules. If it's not written down, it's not a rule, and it's better to ask for forgiveness than ask for what, Coach Bald? Permission. Permission. <laughs> uh, Troy, unless, I wanted to. I wanted to ask you, Troy. Coaching. Yes, sir. I wanted to ask you a quick question. What yes, was sir. your thoughts about the? I know you posted a little while ago about that Bucks player that got eliminated, yeah. and um, he he basically one of the press people asked him about um about the winning and how they do things. Do you remember that? Yeah, he he's, he said. Do you think that this year was a failure? Yeah. And Giannis said there are no failures in sport. And I think that goes back to Bob Wiley. Watch the five-hour podcast with Bob Wiley. He talks about having a growth mindset. The book was written by a female professor at Stanford University. Jim, you're smart enough to go to Stanford. I'm not. I can't. No, I'm not that smart. No, no. All right, I, don't I make A's and B's. Yeah, career. that's fun. All right. But it's a growth mindset. In a fixed mindset. When you have a growth mindset, you see failures as exciting. You see failures as opportunities to yes. learn. Yep. And a guy whose family escaped out of Africa, and I can't remember what particular country, but to be able to go to Greece and to be to hide, they hid for 20 years. The guy wasn't even a citizen in his own country. And to walk 15 miles to practice with his brother, and they had to sleep on gym mats. 
So they didn't have to walk back 15 miles to back 15 miles. And they shared the same pair of Nikes. Like losing a series is not a big deal. No. A guy who was a refugee. So I totally agree with Giannis. People said he was soft. Dude, that no. guy is soft. Giannis, the movie, the Disney movie they made about him is great. It's great for I, kids. I look at it this way. Not just this year, the previous year. Look at how many games they won. They won their they won their uh, conference, they and they how how much more do you have to do? It's a process. You're not going to win right away if there there are factors in here. It's not it's not like you're Michael Jordan and you can just that's a freak that's a once of a legacy kind of a player. It's it's yeah. once of a generational player. How many players today are like that? I mean, I, I think that Jimmy Butler is. I think Jimmy Butler and Giannis are – they're pretty they are pretty close in the way they think of their mindset. I mean, Jimmy Butler sent his national letter of intent on a fax machine in a McDonald's. And if you yeah. listen to him talk, the guy gets it. Yeah. He, he understands there's more to life than basketball, and just because yeah. you lose doesn't mean you're a failure. Correct. You know, I mean, there's been plenty of people that losses have – basically set them back their entire life. I mean, mm -hmm. John Rocker, he was one. Uh, you know, Chuck Knobloch, he couldn't even throw the ball to first base anymore. Um, who was our guy that played for the um, Red Sox that missed the ball? But Buckner, yeah, Bill Buckner. Ball. I mean, Scott Norwood. These guys never – they never overcame, you know, that adversity. It was just too much. Like, some, Bob Wiley talked about it. Like Russell Wilson and throwing that pick on the um, goal line, he said he'd never overcome. But, dude, it was a loaded box. It was cover zero. Like, they yeah. were doing what they were coached to do. But yeah. the other team was coached too. And the guy undercut the route. D. Williams, Coach Troy. Which which D. Williams is that? Because I got a lot of D. Williamses that I coached. And, and is it Meadowbrook? Are you a Brook boy? Because we are the Brook Boys. You know the Rock Boys? Huh? You know the Rock Boys? I was the coach of the Brook Boys. You knew about the Brook Boys. He had to – what is it like having to play against – Well, a team that that plays that style of football. The style of football that we play. It's tough. Meadowbrook was always a good team. Smash my football. Alec Eberly, that started for four years at Florida State, said that coaches – Ha! Ah, my buddy from Alabama. There you go. My buddy from Alabama. This guy, uh, Jim Tim, uh, Coach Williams. I want you to hit Jim Tim up on Twitter. James Tim two. James, uh, Jim, put your put your Twitter in uh, the comments so Coach Williams can hook you up. He's a young offensive line coach down there in Alabama. He was on the podcast. Uh, coach Williams, this is the life lessons podcast all right now coach hutch do you have a class this uh, period? i do and i gotta be there in six minutes six minutes coach hutch life lessons get enough sleep how, how would you recommend to get enough sleep uh get in a routine you know of actually going to bed at a decent hour um you know that's one reason why i'm not in the the other room doing this is did not go to sleep at a decent hour i love your honesty I love your honesty. I lost Jim. Jim will be back. Jim's got the link. Coach Williams, we're going to have to have you on. Coach Williams is a motivator. All right. Awesome. Coach Bald, how do you feel about having Jim Tim on today? And what's your life lesson you're taking out of this? What was our life lesson for the day, Coach? A coaching is teaching well uh there you have it and uh you know i had, i saw a genius a guru mr alex marable mentioned that last night and i just wanted to co-sign off of what he said you know uh it, it it's true you know everything kind of happens for a reason all of us to be connected right now you know it's uh it's heaven sent so you know that, that's what it is man you know coaching it is. It's teaching and teaching is coaching. You know what I mean? It all uh, it all works itself out. 
Uh, it's a, one of the best ways you can make an impact. You know what I mean? You can make a huge influence. And, you know, I'm a kid that didn't have, you know, his pops around to kind of guide him and help him. So my coaches meant everything to me, you know, from from Coach Bland to Coach McNally to Coach Mirable to Coach Mike Harefield, you know, to Coach Crostick, Coach Taylor, Coach Hutchins, Coach Tim. Man, bless you guys, man. That's what it's all about. It's all about you guys and You're the blessings that you let. Hey, good looking Always out. Sorry. You it's all your fault. It's all your fault, coach. It's all your fault. You started this. <laughs> coach Jim Tim, mm -hmm. coaching is teaching. What is your life lesson you're taking today from the podcast? Always don't take anything for granted. Don't stay humble, stay dedicated, and stay focused. Everybody go vote for Jim Tim. Toad and Pole Podcast. Coach Hutch, you want to shout out Cultivate Wellness, our sponsor from day one? Yes, sir. Check out CultivateWellness.com. They got all your CBD needs. Give them a call. They will gladly talk to you about any issues that you're having. Put you on the recommended dosage. They got everything from tinctures, capsules, edibles, you name it. They got it for you. Coach Ball, do you want to sh sh shout out the number one spa, med spa in the Tampa St. Pete area. That's it. Come on out. Give us a ring. Text us, St. Pete Rejuvenate. Check out the website and see how we can help you and change your life and help you live the dream. Let's do this. Coach Hush, did you know that Sarah Blake Cheek has won the injections? What are the injections of, Coach Bald? It is for the weight loss, and I don't have all of the – Right. Yeah. I, I don't have uh, I don't know what all's in there, but I know it's it works. It's, it works. It's, it's like it works here. It's say. not making people feel ill at any, you know, all it's doing is suppressing hunger. You know what I mean? Instead of eating the whole sandwich, you eat half a sandwich and you feel freaking phenomenal. You know, people are sleeping better, you know, losing weight and sleeping better. I mean, it's it's uh, it's something else, man. It's uh, it's very popular and. And I, I love seeing you know, so many people, you know, get to where they want to get to. You know what I mean? As a coach, that's what you try to teach. You try to teach people to kind of get to where they want to be on. Stay on the path. And all our paths are a little bit different, but you still, you stay on that war path to success. Yeah, Coach Ball, I will say it feels like the more we do with Totem Pole, the more people we reach out to, the more people connect to us, find some shining light. Right? Sarah Blake Cheek has skyrocketed. Jim Tim, you're going to win. You're going to get all the votes, right? We got St. Pete Rejuvenate, number one in Tampa. St. Pete going to be number one in Florida and pretty soon number one in the USA. <laughs> we are still the low men on Totem Bowl. We stay, we stay humble, but there is something cosmic, is something divine going on. Amen. That is happening to everybody that's on Pole Nation. Win-win. You know, get, to, get some contact. Win-win-win-win. Get on the way. Win, baby, win. Al Davis. All right, Totem Pole Nation, to the next episode.